People may listen to this and say, this guy is sadistic, he's crazy, he's... No, if you know how I came up, you realize I was just a scared kid that found drive and passion to be something much better than what he thought he was. And that's why I talk about the warrior mentality. And that's why so many people are lost when I start talking. You have the right, you're lucky that you don't have to think like warriors think. You're very privileged. I chose this world to be a warrior and I would, and I would choose it again if I came back to this world. But the mentality of a warrior is very different than the normal mentality. You must be that person on that door, get ready to open it, thinking to yourself, if I die, so be it. The only way you can go in that door is knowing there's a great chance you're gonna die. It's like being a SEAL, you train with live ammo. You jump out of an airplane, every, 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 everything you do, you could die. So to be a warrior, why people don't understand me, I'm glad you don't understand me. Merry Christmas, good on you. Because being a warrior takes a whole different mindset. A whole different mindset to know that there's a great chance I may not be in the military. Like I was in for 21 years. I'm lucky. I'm very lucky that I'm alive, able to talk to you, able to still run. But when you sign up on that dial line to be a, like a SEAL, your mentality changes. I may not live. You gotta accept that. And that's the mentality you have. Look at yourself, man. Look at yourself. And it was that day, in a couple of days after that, I just got real with myself. And every day I came home, I called the accountability mirror. What am I gonna do today to change what I see in this mirror? What am I gonna do today? And a lot of it was, I stopped sitting with the cool guys. I actually tucked my shirt in and went to school looking like, hey man, this is how I'm gonna look. If you don't like it, so be it. I had to really wear this, this, this layer of skin. I had to develop a really callous skin on me to, to take whatever you're gonna call me, you're gonna call me. Whatever I'm gonna be, you know, I wasn't a geek, but whoever I am, you're gonna see me. You're gonna see me for who I am because I need to change who I'm not. And that accountability mirror just became raw. And when I became fat over the years because I fell back in the hole, I called myself fat because I was fat. And people don't want to do that. They want to say, oh, don't call yourself fat. Don't call yourself dumb. If you're not real and raw with who the fuck you are, nothing's going to change. And in this nice new world that we live in, we want to hear, you're just a little big. No, man, you might be fat. And it's okay to hear that from yourself and from everybody else. So that's where it started at. And it's raw. It, it gets ugly sometimes with me in that mirror. But I'm also proud of myself to be able to tell myself that and then fix what's in that mirror. So the first thing about it is once you realize it, and you have to realize it, you got to call yourself out. Addressing it is very small. It's, it, like, it doesn't go from like one morning, I'm um, this way, next morning I wake up and presto, the, you know, five steps to greatness. No, <laughs> it ain't that, brother. <laughs> You read my book, this is hard work. It's every day, like, like right now. I had to be honest with you, man. I'm even shaking right now being on this show. I'm a big time introvert. How you address it is you face it. You face it every day. You face it every single day of your life where you say, okay, like if you're fat and you need to lose weight, it's patience. It's patience in this fact of accepting who you are right now, I'm fat, I don't like myself. Accepting the fact that if you lose three or four pounds, that's a huge accomplishment. You have to live in your own fucking world. You cannot judge yourself. That's why social media and all these things are horrible. You can't judge yourself off of the so-called competition that we have made up in our mind. The things that, how people look, how people act, how smart someone is. This is a race that you run completely alone. And you're all by yourself. I had tons of sticky notes all over my mirror. It wasn't like, be better than John or be as fast as whoever. Okay, David, yesterday you did this. Today, our next goal for the week is this. So I had a year goal, weekly goals, daily goals, hourly goals. So I figured out these ways of total, total accountability. Like right now, I had to run this morning before I talked to you, because why? That's what I'm about. I'm about mind, mat, body, fitness. A lot of folks talk so much shit about, hey, I'm gonna change your life. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. 
Are you accountable for what you're doing? Are you accountable? And I mean to the T for what you're saying. I am. And that's where it started. It started with that total, total accountability of let's not lie today. Let's tell people the truth about who you are. And when you can get on and tell someone like I'm doing right now exactly how fucked up you are, that's the goal in life. To put your life on a billboard, on the busiest road, in the busiest highway in the world and say, this is how fucked up I used to be. Take it or leave.